Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Very good to see you here. Okay, have one. Have Oscar here, Gilberto, I know that you are there. Gerardo, Norma, Maria, Ronan, and Raquel, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, hope you are okay. And that you are willing to start a new, a new Hello, session. Teacher. Hello, Raquel, good to see you. Raquel, uh, did you work in the platform? Perdón. Uh, could you work in the platform? ¿Pudo, ¿Pudo trabajar en la plataforma? Eh, sí, sí, ya, ya logré Adelante. meterme en la plataforma. Ah, ok. Sí, en, en, bueno, por ejemplo, este día sí estuve adelantando algunas cosas. Ahí. Ok, excelente. Well, uh, Alison got into the class, and that's fantastic. Let me see. I have 10 people connected. Let us wait a little bit because we're still missing two minutes to start with, with the activities, okay? Uh, Alison says I'll be as a listener today because I have something, okay, pending work, okay? Okay, we're going to start with a new topic tonight. Okay, it's about, well, I think I have I have a video about it. I already shared a video about what, what's coming tonight. Okay, you can see it after the class or maybe you can see it tomorrow so that you can um, clarify doubts. Okay, I, I can see Claudia over here. Claudia, we didn't see you yesterday. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Okay, very least, good evening. Good to see you over here. Well, I will check the list of tenants. I have for, uh, 14 people. And let me see, Claudia says. Okay, Claudia, I got your message. I checked the list attendance, so do me the favor to help me. The first time I checked list attendance is now. Quite uh, important, you know. Uh, attendance in the, um, in the course is extremely important. Okay, so Adam? And I is not here yet. Alison is over here. Uh, Raquel is over here. Camelia. Dina Maribel. Gerardo. I saw Gerardo in here. Gilberto. Gladys. Uh, Gilberto is over here. Good evening, teacher. Okay, and Gerardo also, right? Gladys. Present teacher. Okay, Hector Salvador. Present teacher. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Now, Henry. Present teacher. Good evening. Good, good evening. Isabel. Isabel's missing. She's not here yet. All okay. right. Jonathan. Present teacher. Good. Maria Norabel. I saw Mary over here. No, that's Mayra, right? I'm sorry, I said Maria. That's Mayra. Mayra, are you here? Maria Elba. Present teacher. No, oh, yes, Maricela. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Miguel Angel. Norma. Norma. Present teacher. Okay, Oscar Josue. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Ronan. Present teacher. All right, Salvador Santiago. 
Salvador Santiago is missing. Ever Alice. I saw Ever Alice over here. Let me see. Yeah, Vera Liz, okay. Say hello, Vera Liz. I don't know if you, ah. I don't know if you have problems with microphone. Vidal? Hello. Hello there. Hello, All right, and Claudia. Claudia already typed uh, something in the chat, right? So remember, this is the first time I, I checked the list of attendance. I will do it just before finishing the class, all right, because um for me it's quite important right to know about about the list attendance okay so please do the favor to activate your camera that's better when you activate your camera it's better yeah now see we have this big difference right activate your camera please Okay, you need to continue. Do me a favor to activate your cameras. I need to see you. Hey, did, we are just at the middle of the third week. Thank you, Gladys. Thank you. That's better. Okay, what about the rest? I, I want you to activate your camera. That will be better. It's better when we interact that way. And you know, when you do it, deactivate your camera, the only thing I, I see is your name, right? The, the only thing I, I see is your name. So for me, it's quite difficult, okay? And let me see, Gerardo says, okay, all right, Gerardo, it's all right. I got it. Okay, but if you, have, if you don't have any problem, it would be really nice. Okay, Sarli, now I can see you. Okay, Maria, that's better. That is uh, a lot better. All right, so, well, we're gonna start. Now, you know, I, I will go almost directly to, to the topic, right? To the topic. Uh, but I told you yesterday, right? Today we were we are supposed to start with the homework assignment. So we're gonna go with the homework assignment. Okay. So remember that the the boys are gonna tell us about uh some uh, occupations, okay, some professions. And the ladies are gonna tell us about uh, the activities they, they do when they are at work, okay? That was the deal, right? That was that was the activity all about. So, well, I will start with, with Oscar. Oscar, let us know about, what, about your homework, please. Repeat, please. Can you please share your homework assignment with the group about the album of occupations and professions? Yes, teacher. Okay. Sí, pero no le he transcribido, teacher. Solo lo tengo. Uh, okay, but you are going to provide some info, right, to the group. No, no va a presentar alguna de ellas, ¿verdad? Right. Okay. Driver. A driver is the person who has the direction or is in command of vehicle. Psychological. According to look this theory, what their evaluation, psychology, investigation, and analysis. T-shirt. 
he refer to the person who has studied the thing and is in charge of station construction worker person was all is to do Mansory work truck driver a trucker is the person who is dedicated to drain from to transport load from one point to another cuánto teacher digo Okay, at least five or six, it would be all right. Uh, nurse, health professional training to care for people with illness or disabilities. Police, it is the institution that deposit the power of the state operates under the guildness of the constitutional front world. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Thank you. Okay, Oscar, you can see the chat. Look at the chat, please. Now, the first word that you see there, double H O, that's, that's pronounced who. Okay, Oscar, who? And the other one is why. Okay, let me see. I have Hector. Hector, please. Do you have something for the group? Teacher, fíjese que yo he tenido problemas con la computadora y ahorita lo estoy intentando buscar el archivo incluso aquí con la tablet, pero no lo encuentro. Okay, take your time and when you when you get ready, let me know, please. Sí, eh, lo busco y luego le digo si si lo digo. Okay. Y Jonathan, hello. Hello, Jonathan, are you there? Okay, let me see. Well, uh, anyways, uh, let me see. Gladys, do you have something for the group tonight? Okay, ahorita voy a presentar. All right. No sé si pueden ver. Yes, we can see the info. You were routine. You were routine. My check in time is 7.30 a.m. At 8 o'clock, I prepared the college routine to the I always get calls from customers and vendors. In addition, I realize customer orders all day since I am in the area of credit and collection. I frequently apple customer payments. At 12 noon, I go, I go out for lunch with my cook workers. At one o'clock, I have to prepare a collection router for the career. And finally, my departure time is at five o'clock. I have a college from the Accoring area, among them Ernesto, is an accounting assistant who accountant for outside sales made in each store. It also does account integration. He processed the cash put off all the stores. Antonio 
is the general count. He is chair of process and the accounting information. I have made the finance stand, statements of the company in addition to validating bank reconciliations and tax payments. Finish. Excellent. Very good, Gladys. That was fantastic. Wow, you have a lot of uh, a lot of activities to do in your job, right? Now, if you see Gladys, the the if you see if you see the chat, how do you feel now, Gladys? You feel happy? Customer. Yeah. yeah. No, listen. The pronunciation customers. Customer. The other one is since. 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 And the other one is financial. In financial. Yeah, don't forget it, okay? But actually, you did a great job tonight. Okay. Uh, now, uh, one question. ¿Alguna vez había hecho alguna presentación en inglés? No. <laughs> how, how do you feel now? ¿Cómo se siente ahora? Mm, es algo nuevo. Siento yo que algo que vamos aprendiendo inclusive a pronunciar las palabras. Exactly. Exactly, Gladys. <laughs> but that, it feels it feels quite good, right? Se siente muy bien cuando uno hace la primera presentación en inglés. Sí. Okay. Es un pasito, son pasitos los que nosotros damos, okay? Después vamos a aprender a, a, a caminar bien, de ahí vamos a correr, de ahí vamos a ir a una maratón. Ya ver, cuando vayan allá en en avanzado ya van a poder este pues muchísimo más el inglés. Uh, congrats, Gladys. That's what, I, what I'm looking for. Uh, Sarlene, do you have any presentation for the group tonight? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> de antemano, las disculpas del caso de la pronunciación. No, 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 Sarlene, it's all right. <laughs> okay. It's all right, don't worry. Hello, my name is Sarlene. Today, I will tell you a little about myself at work. I work a financial company. The check in time is at eight. We rarely start at 7 a.m. My position is that of pressure and I must always make sure that we have enough cash to supply to the cash cashiers that serve the public. And verify, verify, uh, pardon, and verify that the bank account of the company have su, eh, ¿cómo se dice suficient? <laughs> sufficient sufficient funds. funds. I often work with uh, the accountant, Mr. Arias, since everything that is done in the treasury affects the company's accounting. In addition to accounting, my work uh, mm, ¿cómo se dice? Se relaciona. <laughs> My work is re Re related to uh, related Audi Audi <laughs> Miss Soriano is in change of monitoring that money management is done correctly. I often finish my work around six. I rarely finish until 8 p.m. Finish. Wow, congratulations. Congratulations, Sir Lim. Hey, you, you see, we were just um, telling people that you apologize for your pronunciation, but actually you have a really nice pronunciation, Sir Lim. Thank you. Uh, the, the, just <laughs> see, there are two words in the in the chat that I want you to see. The first one, enough. Look at the chat, please. Enough. 
Eh, the vocabulary for everybody. Pues espero que todos estén revisando el chat, porque la pronunciación es para todos, ¿verdad? Eh, ya teníamos por ahí como who, why, customers, since, financial, and now we have enough and in church of. Okay, very good. Thank you a lot, Sarlim. And congratulations. Congrats. Maria Elba, are you there? Can you help us with your presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, bueno, yo lo hice así en, en hoja, lo tengo. Eh, empiezo. I work in the company que de opciones in the customer service department. Among my duties is to transfer a call placing order from the supply area to Fortunate and the equipment, and I keep control of billing expenses, task credit, inventory, realization, and selection layer. And I have college uh, who is dedicated to collection area, and she follows up uh, on delinquent clients and tries to recover delinquent portfolios for, for, from clients. Usually, she provides a con statement, and I also have a college who is dedicated to the operation area. She make it the payment, maybe the claim. Finish, teacher. Great job, Mary. Hasta su vez, teacher. Yeah, I can see that you are sweating. How do you say that in English? Sweating, yes. right? You're sweating a lot, right? But that is good. Yes, it's, it's, you know, when you are when you are at work and when you are sweating, they say, "Wow, I feel really proud about myself." Los Cuando están nervios. en su trabajo y están sudando en el mejor momento de la jornada, no se sienten orgullosos porque están haciendo algo por, por su familia, algo muy bueno. Pero yo cuando yes. trabajo y me siento como, en, como, en, como en, la, en la cima de la jornada, en donde más cansado se siente uno, yo, wow, realmente pues soy alguien bendecido, ¿verdad? Porque este, Dios me permite pues trabajar por, por los niños. Entonces, lo mismo es aquí. Ustedes están en el curso porque están creciendo como personas. Y cuando más sentimos que sudamos y algunas veces hasta el lado suda uno, este, hay, que, hay que dar gracias a Dios porque solo así vamos a crecer. Si yo no los expongo a esto, eh, ¿qué, ¿qué de bueno tendría que yo solo hablando y hablando en inglés? Y a... No, ¿verdad? Es como que tiene que ser balanceado. Da, ustedes producen, yo explico un poco y pues así sería la cuestión. Más adelante se van a dar cuenta que el profesor se va opacando poco a poco y quien brilla más en las clases son los, son los, son los participantes. Ok, but that was fantastic, Mary. Solo quiero que vean okay. en el chat, porfa. Ahí hay vocabulario, lo estoy, lo estoy repitiendo para que no se nos olvide. Vocabulario como who... Why customers since financial enough? Esa enough. enough GH termina con GH, pero suena como F. Enough. In charge of In charge. Duty, duties Duty. of, of dedicated. Dedicated. Clients. Clients. Provides. Provides. And the last one. La última es grammar. Quiero que todos lo recordemos. Todos, todos, todos. Tercera persona. He estado insistiendo en tercera persona. Brother. Toda esta semana. Ok, porque se lo, se lo van a demandar. O sea, es, 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 es importantísimo que ocupemos la gramática correcta cuando escribimos, cuando hablamos que la reconozcamos cuando la escuchemos, cuando la leemos también. Ok. Now, thank you very much, Mary. Let me see. Thank you. Ok. 
Norma, are you ready now? Dime unos minutos, teacher. Okay, okay, Norma. Ra okay, then you raise your hand when you get ready, please. Raquel. Okay, now, is there any participant? Vamos a ver qué es. Unos minutos para ver si hay par participantes voluntarios. Let me see. Levante la mano. Raise your hand. Okay, Vera Liz, very good. Go ahead, Vera Liz. This is your time. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Um, <laughs> Where the engine of the Del Cotendona Distribution Center. My classmates are Josué Galán. He is inventor supervisor. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He leads the group of accountants. He validated that the cons are correct. He makes report for the auditory audited area. He makes the entry of all the material that arrives at the distribution center. Um, my classmate Manuel Contreras is logistic operator. He works from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. He is the boss of the truck drivers and their assistants. He generates the list of material for dispatch. He monitors the route, he created reports for the health workers. And I, I am billing assistant, revise, um, pardon, I check and answer emails, liquid routes pending from the previous day, I prepare documents to send the, to office, invoice the list of material for the patch. I process in the system and make very cash payments once a week. We are a small group, but we went along well. And even sometimes we fight, we get hungry, but the next while we are singing as if nothing happened. Finish. Uh, that was fantastic. The, uh, that was quite good, Veralis. Excellent job. Okay. Uh, well, I was just checking something about your pronunciation. Hey, uh, I want to congratulate you because you you took care about third person singular all the time. Okay. Estuve prestando atención a cómo usaba de la tercera persona. Y yo veo que si usted se, usted se ha detenido a, 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 a pronunciar la tercera persona. Y eso está muy bien. Sí, eh, me cuestan algunas, pero lo practico. Trato de, de que no se me olvide. De hecho, pues yo lo puedo notar en, en todas las presentaciones. Lo han, lo han hecho muy bien. O sea, en alguna que otra ocasión se les ha olvidado ocupar tercera persona de manera correcta, pero... Pues ahí vamos por el camino correcto, como dicen. Now, there are like three words. Yo noté algunas palabritas por ahí. Eh, la primera es answer. Answer. Ok. Algunos, answer. Sí, algunos casi siempre pronuncian answer y no, no es así. Es answer. Como que no estuviera la W ahí, ok. Answer. La otra es fight. Sometimes we fight with, with my co-workers. 
there is there uh, fight or quarrel. Uh, uh, quarrel is como discutir, verdad? Como discutir. Fight is ya como irse a los puños ya de verdad. Es como más más directo. Entonces yo yo no creo okay, que lleguen okay. hasta ahí, pero pero sí a una que otra discusión. Casi casi. <ríe> casi casi. Así que eso. Es que yo casi que solo somos de mujeres, solo mi jefa y yo ahí. Ale, Entonces toca. toca. Ay, ya me ser, hacerse de rudos. Sí, uh -huh. la verdad que el ambiente este, entre, entre varones como que son un poquito más rudos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Por eso. Ok. Very good, very fantastic. Let me see. Now, is there any other volunteer? El último voluntario. Si no hay voluntario, empezamos ya con, con las clases. Directamente con lo que tenemos para ahora. La cuenta de tres. At one. At Norma, I think. I don't know if you're ready now. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh... My, de my daily routines, I work in the Olofilka Free Zone. I am in the warehouse department. My performance is supervisor. I have nine people in my shares. I get to work at six, 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 five. Yeah. I tour on my computer. <clears throat> I recompile attendance of personal in Marshall to department assistant. And get to, to write instructions for new requirements. Later, I arrive at my work area to review email that he sent my from Korea or email from other departments. I have many different reports to obey. I time I will check why my staff is they have those about the words to be done. My lunch or is from twelve uh, y media 30 30 12 y 30 a tu tu one eh, one five my check all time is for Four forty five. Ah, I work until uh, a four five, and so my day today until Saturday. Finish. Quite good, excellent. I really like your presentation. Okay, especially because. Well, I can notice about your advancement, right? I'm sorry if you are, if you're sick. And look, uh, I started by typing some vocabulary over here and I hope that you take advantage of it. El vocabulario que yo coloco acá algunas veces cuando hago observaciones, no todas las veces hago observación de pronunciación, otras veces hago observaciones de, de grammar, de gramática. Pero espero que esta noche le saquemos provecho a estas palabras. Ayer uh, vimos alrededor de 20 palabras nuevas, ¿verdad? Si no nuevas, pero pues las estuvimos, estuvimos este, revisando eh, pronunciación y tratamos de aprender. Ahora tenemos acá alrededor de que unas 15 quizás. Ok, y es importante que las vayamos aprendiendo. The first one. Who. Everybody, please, repeat. Who. Why? Why? Customers. Why? Customer. Customer. Since. 
Sins. Sí, Sins. esta palabra de since la van a ver ahí por intermedio. Y que hay algo que se llama present perfect y por allí lo van a encontrar. Muchas veces los estudiantes cuando llegan a ese nivel se encuentran con esta palabra y, y dicen science. Entonces, no, miren, yo desde, desde básico les enseño que es since. ¿Ok? Financial. Financial. Enough. Enough. In church up. In church. In church up. Duties. Duties. Of. 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 Recuérdense, la O y la F se pronuncia como que, tu, que la F fuera una V, no como F en sí. Of. Dedicated. Oh. Dedicated. Dedicated. Clients. My. Uh, clients. Clients. Provides. Provide. She makes. She makes. Answer. Answer. Warrel. Warrel. Fight. Fight. Requirements. 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 Very good. Very good. So I hope we can take advantage of this vocabulary. Now, yes, we're going to start with the class. We're going to start with the. With the information that I have uh, uh, gotten for you, okay, I hope that we can have a great time together and that uh, you can take advantage of this moment, okay? Now, what is the topic for tonight, people? Well, the topic for tonight is about what? Who is the, who is the topic for tonight? Plataforma. Yeah, I mean, the, but what is the topic for tonight? This is the topic. Where is the topic? ¿Cuál es el tema para esta noche? What is the topic for tonight? Información. Eh. Information questions. Information questions and, and answers. I remember answers. answers. Information questions and answers. And answers. All right. So that's the topic for tonight. Okay. So actually, this belongs to the week, to the third week. Hey, people, I'm a little bit um, surprised. I would say surprised. Estoy un tanto sorprendido de cómo vuela el tiempo en realidad. Esta es la tercera semana. Y en la otra semana prácticamente terminamos con el básico. Wow. We need to, you know, el tiempo se va súper rápido y hay que aprovecharlo. Now, listen, listen up. This is the topic for tonight. Now, now that we know about the topic, let me tell you about something that I have uh, gotten over here. Well, I, I will... I will try to make a, 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 a survey view. Sorry, because I was so here, I was correct. I was in the right point. And it's over here, right? So, hey, you know, in order to go a little bit quickly about about the topic for tonight, let us solve this exercise, people. Now, there are some sections, okay? There are some sections or departments in your workplace, departments in your workplace, okay? And over here, uh, the book presents some of them. This is pure vocabulary. And as you can see, there is a question over here. Where do you work? Where do you work? Now, what is the double H question word? Where? 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 Where do you work? Where? Now, where do you work? Some, some of you already told me the place you worked, that you usually work, right? So tonight, we're going to go over the double H question words. Now, but there are different different departments, okay, such as the, the production department, the research and development department, the purchasing department, the marketing department, the human resources management department, the accounting and finance department, and that's it, right? And in the right part, 
Hoy here you have like the definition, okay? The definition of each of them. Now, when I say production people, the production department, what is the production department all about? What do people do in the, in the production department? What do you think people do in the production department? Uh-huh. Production department. Mm -hmm. What do people do in the production department? What do you think? Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Recruit, select, and train the employees for the right job in the company, keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Now look for every single way, everything. If you, if you don't, if you don't know a word, okay, now let's start quickly by, by identifying certain vocabulary in here. Research, van buscando el vocabulario que yo voy a ir señalando acá, okay? Research and identify what customers want need at the right place. Recruit and select and train new employee for the right job in the company. Keep the financial record of transactions involving a monetary inflows and outflows. A control and supervise the products work for production work for and inventory. Develop, design new or improve existing products or processes. Maybe develop, right? Develop and design, or maybe improve. Buy and acquire, acquire raw material. What's raw material? Production equipment, etc., to the use of the organization. All right. So, what is research, people? Where is research? Uh, production. No. Control and Sorry. supervise the production workforce and. ¿Cómo se dice aquí? I'm. I'm Ben. Sorry, inventory inventory uh, number one number one excellent very good very good that's number one no but listen well, let us look for the vocabulary if in case you you have you you don't know some vocabulary here what is the meaning of the word research research is investigation all oh, right very good what, what about recruit About recruit. Recluta. Okay, so but that's a verb, right? What about inflows and outflows? Inflows, entradas. Uh -huh. And outflows? Salida. So we're talking about resources, right? Okay, workforce. <clears throat> workforce. Um, Trabajo de fuerza. Okay, uh, develop. Uh -huh. Oh, fuerza laboral. Excellent. That's a better, right? That is better. Workforce. But what about develop? Develop? Develop. Develop. Desarrollar. Okay. Improve. <coughs> Improve. Desarrollar. Oh, yes. elaborar. Improve, improve. Ah, okay, that's developed. Very good, Hector. That Mejorar. is developed. What about improve? Mejorar. Excellent, Maricela. 
What about acquire? Adquirir. All right. What about raw material? Um, raw. What about raw material? Materias primas. All right, very good. Now I think we have a clearer idea. We have a clearer idea about 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 every single definition, right? So somebody provided the number one that's about the, the, the production department. Very good. The, in the production department, people control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Good. What about in the what about the research and development? Yeah. Develop, design, new, or improve the sizing. Existing processes. Uh, Number okay, two. number two, develop, design new or improve existing process or processes. What about number three? Yes, two. Yeah, that's that's number two, right? Yes, number yes. <coughs> number number two, so right. What about number three? Pur the purchasing department. You know, per, hey, what is the meaning of the of the word purchase? Purchase. Look for this Compra. word. Ah, all right, very good. That's it. Okay. Compras, okay. So Compras that, or adquisition. Yeah, that's purchasing, right? Okay, now wh where 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 is the definition for purchasing? Buy and acquire right materials. Buy and acquire raw materials, production, equipment, etc. for the use of the organization. That's number three. Good. Number four. Yes. Marketing. Research and identify. <laughs> White customer. 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 Okay. Pretty good. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Very good. What about human resources management department? Record sell it in the train new employee for the rent job in the company. Right. Fantastic. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. And the last one, what is accounting and financial department? Keep the financial record of transactions. There, there are people who keep the financial record of, of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Very good. So you got a 10 over here, right? Actually, you got a 10. <laughs> you did it, okay? You did it. Congrats. <laughs> so are you gonna take notes? Van a tomar apuntes? Yes. Okay, oh, so no. you have one minute. Take take two minutes. Tómese dos minutos para copiar. O para retomar la, la información. <clears throat> Two minutes, people.
Hey, when I ask you to look for certain vocabulary, cuando les pida buscar algún, algún vocabulario, vayan okay. sacando sus notitas por así por aparte y se van a dar cuenta que al final hay mucho que memorizar, vocabulario, aprenderse vocabulario. Um, al inicio de la clase, pues vimos como 15 palabras. Miren cuántas más o menos sacamos de eso ahorita. Sacamos otras 15, ¿eh? más o menos como unas 10 o 15. De hecho, ya, de, ya tenemos como 25 palabras que hemos estado estudiando. All right, can I continue? Yes. Okay. You can take okay. a picture. No, not yet. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. Okay, now, you know, well, there's a, Yesterday we started this this link. It's about the per the person who talks about the, her daily routine. So we solve this exercise. So and over here is our topic, right? We I already introduced the topic. Okay. And where do you work? That is a double H question. Okay. And it is different from the question when you are when you are asked to answer yes or no. Se recuerdan que vimos las preguntas de sí o no. Do you remember? Yes. Okay. So uh, it's like, hey, do, do, do you like do you like um to play soccer? Yes, I do. Do you like to go to the cinema? No, I don't. Uh, does he like um to play video games? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. So that those are yes no questions, right? Over here, we're gonna start with uh, you know. Simple present, yeah, but uh, we're going to use information question or double H questions with simple present tense. Okay, but, you know, the information that I have here in the book is, is uh, very short, and I consider that's quite important to go over the, the topic deeply. Okay, si se fijan en el, en el libro, pues, no nos dan como mayor este detalle de, de la gramática, entonces yo siempre busco algo por ahí como para ir este um, para ir este eh, yendo un poquito más a fondo con los temas. So information questions. We have what do I do? What do I do? Where do you work? Where do you... When do we go to the meetings or to meetings? How do they plan the marketing? And what time do you take breakfast? Okay, so if I ask, for example, what do I do? Uh, well, I supervise the production workforce. That's what I do. Where do you work? Place. I work in the accounting department, all right? When do we go to meetings? When, that's, a, that's about time. We go to meetings two times a week in a week, right? How do they plan the marketing? Well, they investigate the customer needs. That's what they do, right? In order to plan the marketing. What time do you take breakfast? What time? I take it or I take breakfast at 8 a.m. So this is what I have. So before going into these exercises, we're gonna see a presentation we are going to go deep, a little bit deeply with the with the information okay information questions so take advantage of it we're going to start now this is uh, the topic for tonight 
And later, I will let you know about what, what, what's going to be your homework for tomorrow. Well, now, do you see the, the presentation, people? Yes. Yeah. Where's the topic? The sample present information question. Oh, right. Simple present, the simple present information questions. That's what we're going to go work tonight. And in order to see the presentation, the information, we're going to go and see the word what. When do we use it? Okay. Yeah, we use it. Or we use what to we ask about, to ask, to ask about things, things. Things, right? Uh, That's what we're going to uh, use. Example, what do you need? What do you need? Yeah, what do you need? Well, I need $1 million now. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so you say $1 million referring to things. So I need to sleep. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. I need to win the lottery. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, it, please. <laughs> we, uh -huh. use, we use what to ask about things. Keep it in mind, please. This is going to help you not only for basic English, but it's going to help you for advanced English. Esto les va a ayudar tan avanzado. Esto se mira en todos los tiempos. What? What do you need? I need a suit. I need a suit. I need a suit. What do you need? I need a suit. All right. <clears throat> now, what does his sister do? What does his sister do? Now, you can see we have what, <clears throat> the same double H word, but we have different, uh, different uh, subjects over here, different people. What do you? Well, I need. What does his sister? Do look, she's a teacher. She teaches, okay. She teaches English, maybe we don't know. So, but that what does his sister do? She's a teacher, she teaches. Yes, it's a master. Yeah. So, but actually, as you can see, we can use uh, after yeah. what <clears throat> we have the auxiliary do or does, depending on the sub on the on the subject, okay. Okay, as you can see over here, we have do, we have does, just after the word, the double H word. Okay, but we need to be clear about the subject that you are choosing. Because over here we have third person, but here, well, actually I have second person singular, right? Second person singular. But over here we have third person, right? So that's why you need to use does. What does his sister do? Well, she's a teacher. Okay. Teacher, solo una, una question. Tell me. Eh, en, en la segunda oración, cua, donde ocupa el das y al final el do, ¿cuál es la diferencia? ¿Por qué se ocupan ambos? A good question. Okay. Ah. Now, over here, Eso and sería como el verbo, ¿verdad? No, no, como en pregunta. No. Dice, ok. Se recuerda que les hablé de los auxiliares, ¿verdad? Y yo les decía que el auxiliar sirve solo para decirnos en qué tiempo estamos hablando. Ok. Mm. Cuando yo veo, what do you need? Entonces ya sé que él me, o la persona me está preguntando qué es lo que yo necesito. No es lo que yo necesité, ni lo que voy a necesitar, o lo que necesitaré, o lo que estoy necesitando. No, es lo que necesito ahora. Entonces, uh -huh. yo ya sé que es presente simple. Entonces, ¿qué me lo dice el auxiliar? ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Es una de las, de las, de las uh, cosas que me dicen que estoy usando presente simple. Ahora, acá tengo tercera uh -huh. persona. Siempre en tercera. Eh, perdón, este, das, lo que ocupo das, la pregunta está en tercera persona y por eso uso das. Al uh -huh. final tengo do. Es el verbo. Este sería el verbo, no es auxiliar. Ok. 
Okay. Okay, entonces el auxiliar es este. O sea, esto no, si yo lo traduzco, ¿qué es lo que necesita tu hermana? O sea, ¿qué es lo que, perdón, qué es lo que tu hermana hace? ¿Qué es lo que tu hermana hace? O sea, esto no se traduce. Uh -huh. Lo que se traduce es esto. Ok. So that's, that's a question, right? Algunas veces puede ser auxiliar y hay que fijarse bien cuando es auxiliar y cuando lo vamos a ocupar como verbo principal. Ok. Now, then we have where where could you please repeat the word where 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 it's quite important because if you say where if you say where where si dicen where si usted, imagínense alguien no lo pronuncia bien dice where si ya están diciendo otra cosa yo siempre les he dicho que en inglés los sonidos importan muchísimo si dicen where esta es un aéreo ok si se dicen where, ya están, ya están diciendo otra cosa. Ese es el pasado del uh, verbo be. Pero la palabra es where. Where. where ok. Where. Now, where refers to, oh, we use it. No, so this is a mistake, right? We use where. Maybe like this, right? We, we use where. Now, yes. Forget about this. To ask, we use where to ask about places, okay? Example, where do you live? I live in Lima. Where does she work? Look, she works at a... Movistar. Where does she work? She works at a movie star. All right. So here is the same story, right? The only thing that I have changed is uh, uh, that's that's changing the presentation. It's about about the verb. Okay. Where do you live? Where does she work? Okay. And the question word. Or the information question word. Okay. So, but actually, we here I have simple present, simple present, simple present. Okay. This is what we have been studying lately, right? So, I, I know that you are very familiarized with it. Any question? No. Now, the, the next one. When, when, <clears throat> when, when, and we use we use when to ask about time, to ask about a date also, right? Time and date, okay. Time and date. Examples. When do you visit your son? I visit my son in June. Okay. When in June. When do you work? I work in the morning. When? Once again. So you can see the double H question word, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. Double H question word, auxiliary, subject, and this is a noun, right? I work in the morning. When do you work? I work in the morning. Oh, this is the verse, or I said the noun, but it's the verb. Okay, so any question about it? When time. Okay, when time. Hey, which one was the first? ¿Cuál era la primera palabra? What? What? ¿Se acuerdan de una oración que estaba en la primera, en la primera slide? Yeah. Okay, now think deeply about it because I will ask you later. Después vamos a hacer ejercicios. Okay, what was the second word? ¿Cuál era la segunda palabra que aprendimos? Uh, 
Where. 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 And now, when, right? When, when. do we use when? To talk about time. 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 Now, <clears throat> this one is one that I included in the chat. Si se fijan en el chat, fue la primera palabra que yo puse cuando, cuando estábamos presentando. Y la, la, la pronunciación es who. 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 When do we use who? We use who yeah. to ask about people. We use who to ask about people. Okay. Example, who do you live with? I live with my family. Who likes pop music? Roberto does. All right, so there's something over here, okay, that you need to keep in mind, okay? And this is when you when you have a who as the subject. Cuando tienen who como el sujeto, no van a ocupar auxiliar, mira. Who likes pop music? Roberto. Roberto is the one who likes pop music. Okay. Who? Who likes? Who loves? Who plays? Okay. So then, then you, you don't need to use auxiliary with this. Okay. Who do you live with? Now, over here is different, right? Con quien vives? I live with my family. Pero acá, a quien le gusta la música pop? So it's different. Yeah. Okay. And then you have a different answer. Let me see. You have something here. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Maribel, don't worry. I'll do it now. Okay, so let me see. Maribel wants to, wants to see something over here. Very good. Maribel, let me know when you finish, please. Now, when? You know, it's about time. What? Where's the word that we have just started? Who? Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, who is the one that we have just started, right? It's about people. The next one, okay, look at these questions. Uh, that's what I was just telling you, right? Okay. Now, over here is where, where we're gonna clarify. So, recuerda que yo les dije de que cuando who era uh, subject, no íbamos a ocupar el auxiliar. Entonces, acá está la explicación. My mother visits my aunt. El sujeto acá en la oración es my mother. Visits está en tercera persona. El verbo en tercera persona. Y el objeto es my aunt. Ok. Ahora, who visits your aunt? Who visits your aunt? It's totally different from who does your mom visit? Ok. It's different, right? ¿A quién visita tu tía? ¿O, o quién visita a tu tía? Es diferente a quién visita a, a, a tu madre. Okay, it's, it's totally different, right? So, ¿quién visita, who visits your aunt? ¿Quién visita a tu tía? O, who does your mother visit? ¿A quién visita tu madre? Okay, so that is, you need to keep it in mind, right? My mother does. Okay, my mother is the one who visits my aunt. And my mother visits my aunt. So, but over here, you see, it's a little bit uh, different, right? Okay, now. Look at this one. Nathaniel is a subject. Beethoven is the object. And who loves Beethoven? Who does Nathaniel love? Ah, Beethoven. 
Okay, and who loves Beethoven? Beethoven loves Nathaniel. Okay. Nathaniel loves uh, Beethoven. And well, I have the other example over here, like Eliot. Now what's Eliot? Is the subject. Mr. Kim, the object. Now who worked for Mr. Kim? Who worked for Mr. Kim? Eliot, right? Eliot works for Mr. Kim. Now look at the next question. Who does Eliot work for? Uh, Mr. Kim. Who does Eliot work for? Okay. Elia work for Mr. King. And we have it over here. So you need to keep it in mind. That. Now, the next expression that we have here is how often. How often? How often is how frequently, right? And we have we use how often. We use how often to ask about frequency, people. Frequency. Okay. How often is to ask questions about frequency. Examples, how often do you visit your dad? How often? How often do you visit your dad? I visit my dad twice a week. How often does she call her son? She calls her son every weekend. Frequency. Frequency. Now, how often, right? So you see, how often? Any question about it? <clears throat> no? Volver a la diapositiva anterior, por favor. Yeah, sure. Yes. About this one, mm -hmm. about Elliot, work for Mr. Kim. Mm -hmm. Okay, gracias. Okay. Now, how often? You know it's about frequency. Okay, and that's it. So far, so good. Hey, when I say so far, so good, hasta el momento todo bien. So far, so good. You say yes, teacher, no, teacher, I have a question. So far, so good? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very good. Now, how many, on the other hand, is about a quantity? Quantity, right? How many is we use how many to ask about quantity? How many brothers do you have? Okay. Okay, Alison, that's right. So far, so good. We use how we use how many to ask about quantity. How many brothers do you have? I have two brothers. Yeah, sure, Gerardo, I will, I will. I will share it with you. Don't worry, I will share it with the group. We use how many to ask about quantity and we have how many brothers do you have? I have two brothers. How many grandchildren does, she, does he have? He has four grandchildren, four grandchildren. And you know, over here is the way we form. Now any question with, with the previous one, with how many, any question about it? No? No, no, question, no questions, all right. Now, the form, how do we form, how do we form the double H question words? Okay, to form double H questions, we use the double H question word. Now, this is the part you need to keep it in mind. Okay, first, you write down the double H question word, then it all depends, right? You use do or does, <clears throat> then you will see the subject and the base form of a verb. <clears throat> How come? Well, we have a lie. This double H question word, what? Do or does, in this case is do, subject you, 
base form of a verb like and the question mark right quite important what do you yeah. like how often does she visit her family how often does she visit her family okay so this is this is about about wow. about the way we uh, create double h question words okay quite important first second third or step and i will include a fifth that is the double the, the, the question mark okay you, you don't need or you don't have to forget it. What do you like? How often does she visit her family? All right. And besides that, you need to keep in mind that <clears throat> the intonation of the question is also important. It's not the same as when you say, what do you like? Uh, instead of saying, what do you like? What do you like? Or how often does she visit her family? No, right? So how often does she visit her family? So you need to make emphasis in the question. Okay. Remember to use do or does. Remember to use do or does as the auxiliaries. What example? Complete the sentence, please. <clears throat> Complete the sentence, please, people. You, do you what need? What do you need? Okay, mm -hmm. do can be used with I, with you, with we, with they. What do I need? What do you need? What do we need? What do they need? And you know, we have like... No, no, no problems with this? No. Remember, remember to use do or does now. We repeat. Uh, recuerden se utilizar auxiliares do o das, dependiendo la persona, por supuesto. En este caso, vamos a ocupar do con los sujetos. I, you, we, and they. ¿Ok? What do I need? Podría ser una pregunta. What do you need? Otra. What do we need? Otra. And what do they need? Otra pregunta. All right? Yes. Remember to use do and das. Now, example, complete it, please. How often does she work? How often does she work? He work. He, he work and it work. Excellent, very good. So remember to use the person singular when ha I mean, remember to use does when having the person singular. That's it, right? Hmm. We have we have been studying this a lot. Questions? No question. No questions. Now we have some some <coughs> uh, words on here. Okay, such as for example, frequency. When we talk about frequency, we use the expression how often. For things. Okay. For things. Um, what? What? Very good. For places? And where? Where? For quantity? And many. How many? Uh -huh. Yeah, how many? For time? Um, time, time. Oh. Why? No. When? Um, when? All right. When? Uh, when? For people? Uh, who? 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 Yeah, who? Now remember, frequency, how often? Things, what? Places, where? Quantity, how many? Time, when? People, who? Now let us practice, okay? Let us practice. Now, do me the favor to match the question with the answers, please. Okay, okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will give you seven minutes. No, I will give you five minutes. I think it's not that complicated. Le doy cinco minutos para que terminen este ejercicio. Y me lo... 
y me lo bueno si alguien puede utilizar este lo quiere lo quiere hacer acá pueden 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 editar pueden pueden hacer uh -huh. una línea y enlazar la pregunta con la uh -huh. respuesta ¿ok? okay. Cuando ya lo vea resuelto, entonces yo voy a volver a intervenir, ¿ok? Here we go. All right, you did it, right? Excellent job, excellent job. Let me see. Okay, so do me the favor to answer. What does Alex do? What does Alex do? He works at, at books store. Okay, we'll continue making emphasis on this. Once again, what does Alex do? He works at, at, at book. a bookstore. He works at a bookstore. How many children does your sister have? Uh, she has three. She has three. Where does your mother live? Uh, in Madrid with my half sister. Yes. How often do you call your stepsister? Steps. Uh, we talk on the phone every, every day. We talk on the phone every day. Good. What time do you get home from work? At, at six. Um, cherry. At six thirty. Very good. When do you visit your grandmother? Mm, on Sunday afternoon. On Sunday afternoons. Uh, what do you and your husband do? Mm, we're both teachers. We're both teachers. Perfect. You got another 10 over here. Congrats, people. I'm really happy with your job. I love the way you work. Pretty good. Now, let's see. Now you got the answers over there, right? Okay, what does Alex do? He works at a bookstore. How many children does your sister have? She has three. Where does your mom live? In Madrid with my half sister. How often do you call your stepsister? Uh, we talk on the phone every day. What time do you get home from work? At 6.30. When do you visit your grandmother? On Sunday afternoon. What do you what what do you and your husband do? And that's Larry G. We're both teachers. Very good. Thanks. Any questions? Mm, no question. So I tried to do it the best I could. Traté de hacer lo mejor que pude. Okay. Espero que lo hayamos logrado. Okay. Now let's see. We have some time to practice, okay? 
Give me one second because okay. I have something else in here. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do? We're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, okay? Y van a, van a crear preguntas, okay? Solo, solo van a crear preguntas. Y va, por supuesto, van a crear que cinco preguntas con double H question word, las que ustedes quieran. Ok, se las van a hacer a su compañero y van a tratar de hacer una pequeña conversación. Ok, ahora no les doy un patrón a seguir porque quiero que ustedes busquen en internet o que se las ingenien para crear una pequeña conversación. Ok. Veamos, vamos a invertir que 10 minutos para 5 preguntas, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Ok, we're going to go over it. Ok, ok. 10 minutes, 10 minutos, chicos, no más de eso. Si alguien tiene problemas con audio, pues este... Y no puede trabajar con la otra persona por problemas técnicos. Entonces usted se dedica a crear cinco preguntas con cinco respuestas. Ok. Here we go. Hi, Jonathan. Hi. María, ¿cómo está? Bien, bien. Acá. y le digo pues que preguntemos ahorita que no 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 ve verdad no pero no si acá está el maestro con nosotros uh, any question si sí, nos perdimos bueno yo me perdí eh, las preguntas que íbamos a usar si sí, hay ustedes deben crear cinco preguntas eh, de las que nosotros acabamos de ver en la presentación. Con, con, con double when, H. What? When, where, why. Ah, bueno, me faltó. Hay una que no vimos ahí en la presentación, pero cuando terminemos se la voy a, se la voy a decir. Pero when, where, eh, what, how often, etc. ¿Ok? Ah, bueno, gracias. Ok, Camelia. Traten de crear una pequeña conversación con cinco preguntas, ¿ok? Ese es el objetivo ahorita. Ah, bye. Gracias. Ok. Trabajo. Ay, no. ¿Cómo dijo? ¿En qué? ¿Qué hacen en el trabajo? Ah, ya sé, soy, ¿qué? Soy. Eh, ¿Cómo dice aquí? Soy. Siempre se me olvida. Soy tesorera en una empresa financiera. Le voy a poner yo. Soy tesorera. Una 
empresa ya me metí en este lío pero me... <ríe> español soy Ya buscó a qué horas entra a trabajar. Soy sí, ya lo tengo. Tesorero. Ah, pues busque otra pregunta, todo lo que yo contesto en inglés. Una. Una empresa. Empresa. Finanza. The last. When do the festival? Why? Why does Oscar? Sing again. What does no, what does Oscar why does Oscar dance dance okay cool why does Oscar dance Pardon? why Dos, dance. No lo entiendo. Eh, ahorita le mando captura. Permítame. Ok. <coughs> Ahí está. Cinco dijo el profesor, ¿verdad? Sí. Va. Ahí están cinco. Solo que las últimas no le he puesto respuesta. Uh, it starts at... Sería, para las últimas dos sería, no sé, it starts, starts on Sunday. Este, y la última, why does it occur? Uh, because No tengo, tendría que Sería, decir. Ah, don Jade. I have it. I have it. Ajá. Vaya. Eh, es, en la siguiente, que eh, Sería... ¿qué haces en tu... A, ¿A dónde vas en tus días de descanso? Ah, va, pero primero la, la del color que le dije. What is your favorite color? Ajá, y la respuesta es la sencilla. La respuesta es My favorite color, color is... My favorite color yes. is... Y el color favorito acá, ¿qué? Ajá, okay. Correcto, correcto. ¿Le dijo la otra? Where do you? Where do you go on your days off? Repeat, please. Where do you go on? Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. days off. Doble F. Off. Ahí podemos decir. In Spanish, ahí, please. Eh, ¿A dónde vas en tus días de descanso? Podemos decir como que vamos a la iglesia, 
o a visitar a la abuelita, Ah, yo voy al fútbol, o no, al no sé parque, cómo. ajá. ajá. vaya, entonces tú puedes decir que va al estadio. Creo que sería, I go to the stadium. Falta de ver. Uh -huh. I'm going to the stadium. Oh, ajá, o oh, 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 también, I go to eh, soccer, creo que se dice, ¿verdad? Soccer. Ah, oh, ajá, fútbol. Sí, ajá, I go to sí. soccer. Uh -huh. Vaya, nos falta una. Nos falta una. Sí. O de los que encontramos protección, frescura y equilibrio en uno. Te invito a descubrir el lado verde de la vida. Encuentro tu equilibrio eliminando el 99.9% de los Ya casi nos sacan. Oh, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ver. Uh -huh. ¿Cuántos hermanos tiene? Ponemos. Ajá, perfecto. Uh -huh. Ahí la, la, la busca usted y pone su respuesta. Sí. Gracias. Bueno, bueno. Okay, everyone. Hello, Maribel. Siempre nos saca a teacher. Ah. O no sé si solo a mí. A mí me sacó también. Yo ah, estaba ahí bueno, esperada. Probably. Qué barbaridad. My goodness. Yeah, I, I saw. Uh, sí, vi que, que, que saben que funciona mucho, que trabajen en pareja o en grupo, siempre funciona. Sí, me ha encantado eso. Miedo. Usted es rápido y furioso. Y yo digo 10 minutos y les di, les di 15. ¿Ah? Sí. Pero sí, les esos 15 no se sienten, no se sienten. Pues sí, 15 para... Bueno, va, vamos a ver qué tal lo, lo hicieron, ¿ok? Uh, teacher, solo Ajá. que en el caso igual, ¿verdad? Que en, en mi caso, teacher, a mí me sacó... O sea, solo la le di a Jonathan. A la sacó, de la, sacó... De, la, de la sesión. Sí. Hello, Maricela. I'm sorry, me tengo que retirar. Me, me acaban de notificar que me, mi hermano tuvo un accidente. Primero Dios que todo esté bien, Maricela. Ok. No tenga pena. Puede ser, Maricela. Bueno, bueno, adiós. Dios. Con cuidado, con cuidado. Okay, guys, so we're gonna, okay. we're gonna try to continue, okay? So five questions, five answers, I think. <clears throat> we're, gonna, we're gonna do a great, a great job tonight, you will see. Now, for example, uh, I, I don't know, Maribel, you have raised your hand. Maribel quiere participar. Ella trabajó con Allison. Teacher, accidentalmente puse la mano. Ah, pero bueno. Okay. <risa> okay, Maribel. Aquí no hay accidentes, dígale, Ticha. <risa> Se me dispararon todos los controles. <risa> Héctor, yo <you're> very mean. <risa> Héctor es. Lo siento, Alison. Ok. Pero sí, bueno, si quiere, pues pasemos ya. Okay, <laughs> listo, ni modo. Okay. Okay. Comenzamos, Alisa. Sí, sí. Okay. ¿Qué más primero? Usted. Usted, usted. <laughs> okay. 
O si quiere yo comienzo. Sí, porque no me... <risas> ok, ok, vaya. Es, where do you live? I live my, I live in San Antonio Abad. Okay. Um, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Okay. Uh, where do you work? I work in um, car system. When does the festival start? Um, esa no, no lo entiendo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> lo siento. <laughs> Um, it starts on Sunday. <laughs> okay. Uh, how often does Oscar dance? Um. Excuse me, no sé. Uh, le estoy preguntando qué tan seguido baila Oscar y dijimos que Oscar baila todos los días. <risa> Como tengo dos pies izquierdos, no sé. <risa> <risa> bueno, está bien, está bien. Eh, bueno, esas eran nuestras preguntas. Ok, quite good. <coughs> quite good, very good. Eh... In the presentation, I forgot to to provide the information question about why. En el chat puse una double H question word que no que no estaba en la presentación. So why? Why why do you like? Why do you dance? Why do you work hard? Por qué? <clears throat> okay. Why? Entonces cuando cuando vamos a contestar vamos a contestar con because. Because, okay, look at the chat, please. Miren al chat, porfa. Why? Why do you go to church? ¿Por qué vas a la iglesia? Ah, because I like it, porque me gusta ir a la iglesia. Uh, why do you, why do you uh, study English? Uh, study English because... Oh, I don't think mí no aparece nada en el chat. Oh, no? Oh, sorry, sorry. No, you don't, you don't see No ven lo que las dos palabras que colocaron en el chat. Puso teacher, estaré de oyente. Me está fallando la red. Solo eso me aparece a mí ahorita. Oh, ya coloqué dos más. Lo voy a volver a. Es que está en la plataforma de Zoom. En el chat de Zoom. Ah, yeah, that's right. Ahora sí. Now, yes. Oh, thank you, Héctor. Very good. Now, why? As I told you, right? Why is, por qué? Why lo vamos a ocupar para hacer la pregunta. Pero because significa por qué también, pero es cuando estamos dando la razón. Ok. Example. Why, why do you like pizza? Because I am Italian. Why do you, why do you study? Because I, I, I want to improve my life. Why do you, you, you continue? Right? Why es por qué, pero es para hacer la pregunta. Y because es por qué también, pero es para responder. Como que dijéramos en español, bueno, ¿y a ti por qué te gusta jugar al básquetbol? Ah, porque necesito estar en forma. Entonces, en inglés, why es para hacer la pregunta y because es para responder. <coughs> ¿Ok? Ok. And that's it. Esa es la única que... Que por ahí, mientras estaba observando que ustedes creaban las, la conversación, me, me, me recordé que no, no, no estaba en la presentación. Ok, let's, let's continue, please. Vamos a escuchar a, a dos parejas más y de ahí paso lista mientras ustedes trabajan en el PDF. Let me see. Ok, ya van a Camelia en Oscar. Oh. 
Oscar. Hello. Iniciamos. Where do you live? I from La Paz. Where do you live? I need with my down here. What is your favorite color? My favorite metal is blue. So let's ahí sí, teacher, porque no terminamos. Ah, okay. So let's continue working, okay? Este, si, si no logramos eh, completar algo, siempre hay que hacerlo, dentro de clase, fuera de clase, pero no nos quedemos con esas ganas de completar las actividades. Vamos a tratar de, de completar toditito, todas las actividades, dentro o fuera de la sesión. Y ya, si ustedes lo toman a bien, el día de mañana, teacher, ayer no pude este, completar cierta actividad, nos da el espacio ahorita y con gusto, yo con gusto los voy a dejar que practiquen. Ok, let me no, see. Gracias. Let me see, let me see, because I have here a third, a third couple, right? Uh, Sarlim. <coughs> eh, lo podemos dejar para mañana. Ok, Sarlim. <laughs> Por favor. Oh, okay, Vidal. Vidal, do you want to provide something to the group? Let me see. Volunteers, please. Volunteers, it's because time is running. Hola, <laughs> Voluntarios. Hola. hola, hola. Okay, Vidal. Hola. And after Vidal, sí, Maria. Hola. Ah, okay. Eh, a mí me tocó, en, eh, cuando hizo las sesiones en grupo, me tocó, me tocó solo, no, no, me, no me tocó ningún compañero. Pero felice dos preguntas. Hola, hola. Ya, yeah, which are them? What time? Do they go home? They go home at 7 p.m. How long does your brother play soccer? I play soccer really well. Okay. Very good. How long does your brother play soccer? He plays soccer um, for about an hour. Okay. Now, when you use how long, creo que esa tampoco aparecía en la, en la presentación. How long, solo vimos how much y how many. <clears throat> Pero nos faltó how long y qué bueno que Vidal lo menciona porque how long, how long, es una gran how, la verdad. How long <risa> es este, cuánto tiempo dura algo. How long, how long do you, do you study English, for example? ¿Cuánto tiempo te dedicas a estudiar inglés? Well, I study English for about one hour. I study English for, un, for durante una hora. Oh, how long does your English course um, last? ¿Cuánto tiempo dura tu clase de inglés? Okay, it's about two hours. Okay, it's 120 minutes. Okay, so thank you, Vida. That was quite significant. And Maria, I think we were going to finish with you. Sí, teacher. A mí me tocó con Jonathan, pero... Eh, solo hola, le dije y me sacó. No, no, no la saqué. Eh, de repente me desconectó y me conectó con Marisela. Y la compañera Marisela. Ah. Me... Así, porque yo ah, también okay. le dije, así que lo siento por el malentendido. Oh, ok, está bien. Bueno, en este caso lo hice así como solita, ¿verdad? Eh, en la primera puse, Where do you live? En, en esa contesté, I live in Soyapango. En la otra, who do you live with? And I live with my husband and my son. En la otra, what do you do on your free time? Eh, contesté, I start to draw. 
And la otra sería, how many pets do you have? And I do not have pets. And when you visit your dad, and I visit tweets uh, a mom. Eso sería, Antita. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, before starting, antes de, de pasar la lista por última vez, Quiero, quiero que veamos algo, porque esto va a ser tarea para mañana. Yo sé que a ustedes les encantan las tareas, por eso les voy a asignar otra tarea. Bueno, para el día, para el día viernes, ¿se recuerdan que, que, que ustedes tomaron el, el challenge? De los un minuto, ya pasamos un minuto, ya pasamos el de los dos minutos, la conversación. Y hoy nos toca otra vez solitos, eh, vamos a tratar que sean tres minutos, en donde usted nos cuente un cuento. ¿Ok? Puede ser el cuento de Pinocho, el cuento de Peter Pan, o cualquier cuento. Pero que pues trate de, de que cuando nos cuente ese cuento dure por lo menos tres minutos. Ese es el challenge. O sea, eso es lo que yo les estoy invitando a, a producir. Tercera semana, tres minutos. La otra semana, vamos a ver si, si trabajamos los cuatro minutos porque hay un día que <coughs> a mí me dicen que necesito pasar, o, o ustedes necesitan, perdón, llenar una, una, un formulario de, de satisfacción. Entonces, como que por ahí se invierte un poquito de tiempo en eso también. Y es súper necesario. Pero para este viernes vamos a trabajar en eso, ¿ok? Un cuento. Eso va a ser individual. Si ustedes lo toman a bien, lo pueden trabajar en pareja. Yo lo dejo individual porque sé que... No, mejor. <risas> porque, sé, porque sé que pues en su lugar de trabajo es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Que, que logren congeniar con los tiempos. Entonces, mejor que sea individual. Pero si acaso alguien, digamos, trabaja en el mismo lugar o tienen la disponibilidad de tiempo para hacerlo en pareja, pues perfecto, hágalo. Y eso es para el día de viernes, pero para el día de mañana, se los digo con tiempo, porque necesito que lo preparen con tiempo. Pero para el día de mañana necesito lo siguiente. ¿Se recuerdan de este ejercicio? No, sí. la verdad no. ¿No, ¿No se recuerdan? No. Yo no, no te... perdóneme, yo no. Yes. No, nah, yo no. Para el que no se recuerda, pues esto es como, como oh. la vida cotidiana de, de Annie, mm -hmm. okay? que es lo que ella hace, ella dice que va a la montaña, que se levanta temprano, etc. Pero Pero ella... ¿A dónde se encuentra eso, Ticha? Eso no lo he compartido. Eso nada más lo hicimos, o, o, com, completamos una parte acá en la clase. Pero lo que yo necesito es que busquen un párrafo en internet o un ejercicio, si ustedes quieren, ya creado, okay, acerca de estas, acerca de alguien en general. Y que, a, que nos compartan un ejercicio con Double H Question Words, así como estas. ¿Ok? Si no están, la, si no encuentran ningún ejercicio ya prefabricado, entonces les va a tocar a ustedes crear por lo menos de unas cinco preguntas de lo que han leído. ¿Ok? Con sus respectivas respuestas. Eso es para mañana. Sí. Eso es para mañana. ¿Ok? Que cinco preguntas, una lectura, <coughs> puede ser cualquier lectura, que por supuesto tenga presente, simple, ¿verdad? Y que podamos crear preguntas abiertas respecto a la lectura. ¿Ok? Mm, lo van a presentar en un documento Word o si quieren en una presentación PowerPoint, pero sí necesito que, que lean. Y que formulen preguntas respecto a la lectura que han obtenido. Esta lectura es bien corta. No, no vayan a buscar un artículo completo. No, no los estoy enviando a eso. Algo corto. Miren cómo esto. Y de ahí sacar que cinco a siete, cinco a siete preguntas. Eso es todo para mañana. ¿Ok?
¿Estamos claros? Ok, sí, sí. Ok. Yes. Bye. Uh, Hágame el favor de ir a la plataforma porque ya para el, para el libro de PDF ya no nos alcanza el tiempo. Y trabajar en el ejercicio que nos compete para, para este día. Mientras yo paso la lista. Ok, Adán. <coughs> Alison. Andrea. <coughs> ok, Camelia. Dina Maribel. Here, teacher. Gerardo. Gilberto. Present teacher. Gladys. Present teacher. Héctor Salvador. Present teacher. Henry Ernesto. Present teacher. Sarlim. Present. Josué Morales. Present teacher. Mayra. Present. Uh, okay, Mayra, thank you. Uh, it's because I, I, I always say Maria, but it's Mayra, right? And then we have Maria. Okay, Maria, hello. Present, teacher. Okay, sorry, but that's my mistake. Maricela. Presente. Miguel Angel. Norma Xiomara. Present, teacher. Oscar Josue. Present teacher. Ronan. Present teacher. Salvador Santiago. Vera Liz. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Vidal. Present teacher. And Claudia. Claudia is, yeah, I saw Claudia right here, so. Well, uh, I think we're going to finish over here. Yes. Okay. Um, esperemos que todo esté bien para el día de mañana. Espero encontrarlos de nuevo. Felices y contentos. Okay. Uh, so, see you tomorrow. It's been a pleasure. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. <clears throat> <clears throat>Jonathan, all right, give me one second, Jonathan. Permítame, Jonathan, ahorita lo reviso. Está bien. Uh, también yo. Permítame, este, permítame, permítame. Eh, yo, yo Jonathan, ocupando. sí. Ya, ya chequeé que sí estaba acá. Y Alison, permítame, Alison. Alison también, no hay problema. Ah, ok, ok. Bueno, okay, gracias. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.